Hey, what's up guys? This is Aerosleya and I'm going to do a PS4 Xbox 3, uh, Xbox 1 um comparison pros and cons. And to start off, I'm going to start off um the pros for both of them and that is they are both 6 to 10 times faster than the current gen con consoles. They have both um 8 gigabytes of RAM. They have controller improvements cloud saves play while downloading games play while installing games updates and background full 1080p gaming blu-ray and can record blu-ray i mean can record um gameplay and um now i'm gonna go through every one of them um the first one um eight to ten times faster than the current gen consoles so that means um faster reaction time when you click a button on the controller it goes faster so I mean like I don't even know how it could go faster it's already like immediate but um that's faster the connection times faster pretty much everything is faster about it um for the um 8 gigabytes of ram that just makes it um that just improves the 8 to times um 10 faster um because the ram makes it go faster and makes it um like um, the console do better and have more graphics and just in general just be a better console. Um, the controller improvements, um, Xbox 360 controller, that one was really good. That I couldn't see how they can make it any better. But um, for the PS3, they could do a lot of more improvements um, because I I don't know what was uh, what was about with the PlayStation 3 controller, but it was just like. Uh, I don't know, it just felt really uncomfortable, and the Xbox 360 controller was a better fit. I could play better on the console because of the controller. That's, like, I 100% go with the Xbox 360 other than the PlayStation 3. So I hope they fix the controller on the P PlayStation 3 to help get more um, users on the PlayStation 4. So, yeah. Um, next up is the cloud saves. You can... Um, save it to uh, the cloud memory and you can pick it up on different consoles i think that's what it means i'm pretty sure that w that's what it means if it's not then um um correct me in the comments um but um you can play while downloading games um you used to be able to and i think you used to be able to yeah you can in both consoles it's just that um it doesn't go like as fast it goes really slow but i'm guessing they improve the time um, because you, it's for it to go like faster and like normal speed, you had to be in the Xbox dashboard or I think just watch it download for the PlayStation 3. But um, I'm not exactly sure. I never downloaded anything for the PlayStation 3. But um, they have, and the next thing is um, play while installing game. That's pretty much the same thing as downloading games. Um, updates and backgrounds. That's just. Uh, I'm guessing you can um, hook up your camera to the your um, console and have like um, pictures of your um, family or like of just different memories you had and you can have them for your background other than just having like weird like weird backgrounds like for the PlayStation 3 they just have the wavy design and just a bunch of other colorful design things um, they probably are able to like like um make it cooler and stuff like that and um for full 1080p graphics gaming um that's really good because um no one really likes playing um other um lower than 1080p but it really um just matters on the TV that you have because if you have a crappy TV that doesn't have HDMI, you're probably not going to get 1080p gra um, gaming. I'm not even sure if you can play the consoles if you don't have an HDTV, but I'm not sure. You probably can, but I'm not 100% sure on that. You might need to look up, or I might just look it up and post it in a future video. But um, next is Blu-ray. Um, you can play Blu-ray um, discs on the um, PS3. I think you can play DVDs, too. Yeah, but on the Xbox 360, you couldn't play either. You had to download the movies or TV shows or do whatever you want. Um, you had to download them. You couldn't, like, play them and just, like, like pop in a CD or something like that. 
and just watch it on your council but now on the next gen consoles you can and that will be um, an option for you um, then next the last thing is um, you can record gameplay on either or um, con uh, I mean either or console and like you can j pretty much just use the console as a PVR or a gaming card and d you don't have to pay it like a um, hundred dollars or so to buy one so that's pretty good I'm not exactly sure if there's a limit to it like if it's like a like 15 minute or like if it's just forever and it just goes on your um your hard drive or so um and then you can delete them as you go to get more or um um for the cons for both the bad things for both of them are the price they are a little pricey but i'm guessing it's all worth it in the end um i'm the the xbox one is uh well uh, i know the playstation 4 price is um four hundred dollars i think and then um the no yeah the four hundred dollars and then for the xbox one it's um five hundred dollars but correct me if i'm wrong it might be the xbox one's four hundred and the playstation four is three hundred i'm sorry but yeah correct me if i'm wrong in the co comments but um um no concrete uh no release date on both consoles but there is one right now i'm not exactly sure on them but i know there's there should be some out there right now um that's about it uh, for both of them um for the xbox for just the xbox one pros um it you can multitask with um multiple apps like you can watch tv while you um, game or you could um, search the, um, the web browser while you game or you could watch TV while you um, search the web browser you could search the web browser while you watch TV um, either or you could just multitask and do different apps at the same time and like pull them up on different sides of the screen um, and then 15 oh yeah then there's exclusive titles for the Xbox only um, that kind of sucks. Um, Microsoft just um, buys the console. I mean, buys uh, like um, signs a contract with some um, people, like um, Gears of War. I think it only is on Xbox 360, and um, I think future Gears of Wars are um, on Xbox One and Xbox 360. But um, I'm not sure about that. And other games too. In the um, new games coming out, they only be available for Xbox systems. Um, what's next? Um, controller system by voice. Viva Connect. Uh, you can, I think, use your controller as a voice monitor, like a Connect, or you could just use your Connect. I'm not exactly sure what it means by that. I'm talking off, um, uh, I mean, I'm looking off a computer right now. I mean, uh, yeah, a computer website. And, um, the next thing is... Fully installed games do not require a disc. So, um, if you, oh, no, I think they, um, they, um, patched that. And they didn't patch it. They didn't update on that. Where you do have to have the disc in to, um, play the game. Because, I mean, like, that could be a bad thing that, um, if you rented the game, you could just bring it home, download it to your game, um, your Xbox, then return it. Then you could have it pretty much for your whole life and just keep on doing it like that with every game you rent and then yeah that's probably why they um took that away but yeah and then um you can use external HDDs um for that you can just use like pull out your hard drive and put in another one and just keep on doing that so you can have like like 1000 gigabytes but just on separate hard drives like 250 gigs of hard drive and then um um timed exclusive dlc like always for call of duty um dlc always comes out in xbox um before playstation um and then for playstation comes it comes out um um a month later usually um so that's gonna stay the same with the xbox one and the ps4 um and for the cons for the xbox one um it will st it's still unclear um exactly no no th no that's clear now um it will well that this is another pro it will be able to play used games that has been cleared up by microsoft that you are able to play used games and rent games for the xbox one um and some people 
are a little bit um like scared of the connect because um they made it to where the connect always has to be on um some people think microsoft might be looking at you in some form or there might be hackers and like they might hack into that and just look at you and i have no clue why they would but uh so these people are jacked up the butthole but yeah and um TG, uh, I mean, TV features may require an additional price of hardware, so you might need to pay, um, like, more, like, um, I'm guessing a 10 or $20 additional price to have TV on your Xbox One, because, I mean, like, it, it that would be awesome if it would be for free, because it is $100 more than the PS4, and the PS4, you can't have TV and stuff like that on it. But, um, yeah, you do have to pay additional for the TV features. Um, but other than that, that is it for the pros and cons for Xbox One. Now on to the PlayStation 4. Um, for the pros for the PlayStation 4, um, the, t the, um, the controller can be charged while the console is off. So that's good because if you want to, like, while you're sleeping, charge your, um, controller so you can play it all day the next day without charging it and then once you want to charge it then just like keep your console off and you don't have to waste energy keeping your console on all day charging your controllers because if you um spend the whole day using your controller battery up and then it dies and um you don't want to leave your playstation on the whole day i mean the whole night while you sleep just to charge your controller you don't have to waste energy um, and money just to charge your controller so you can use it the next day. So that's good. Um, you can have the share button allows you to share short clips um, to social media sites like YouTube um, and other sites like I'm guessing Facebook, Twitter, and those social media sites. And I'm guessing they might just be, yeah, like two minutes or lower because that's usually what Call of Duty does. They only let you do short clips to YouTube and stuff. Um, um, for PlayStation 3, blah, blah, blah. You can stream your game play, so you can live stream your game no matter what. I think to like, yeah, th I think they signed a contract with Twitch. I think that's for Xbox One too, but I'm pretty sure it's only for PlayStation 4. Correct me again if I'm wrong on the co in the comments below. But yeah, and then um, th that's good. The PlayStation 4 um, improved dashboard. The dashboard sucked, absolutely sucked for the PlayStation 3 because if you got a game invite or a friend request, um. You usually click, for the Xbox, you click the middle button, um, the he Xbox Home button in the middle of the controller. You just click it and it goes straight to it if you want to accept it or deny it or reply it back to the guy that sent you it. But for the PlayStation 3, you click it and it goes just like to the home page. And then you have to like go in and find it and then go to like receive messages and then go and try to find the guy that sent you the message. And um, now I'm guessing they improved it to where you just click it and then it goes straight to it because that I love about it. Um, cons for the PlayStation 4. Um, uh, no, the PSN info. Lo well, really, the only thing that it says right now on this website, I'm sorry guys, but there's only one thing at the cons for the PlayStation 4, and that's the lack of apps. I'm guessing it's just the lack of apps once the PS4 comes out, but I'm guessing in the, f the near future, once the PS4 gets, um, like, more older in the years to come, it gets more apps and people make more and it, it progresses, so... Yeah, that's it for the PlayStation 4, and um, I think that's it for this video. Um, if you, um, that would be awesome if you could subscribe and like to this video, um, give it a heads up, and um, this is Aeroslayer signing off. See you later, guys.